Hey, what is up, guys? It's Phone Takeover here with another video. And this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6S Plus running iOS 11.2.1 to an iPhone 6S Plus running iOS 11.1.2 in a speed test here. So stay tuned. Okay, so first up, you're going to boot up both devices. Apple logo appeared first on the iPhone 6S Plus running iOS 11.2.1, the latest as of this video, where it took some time with the iPhone running iOS 11.1.2. So, uh, oh, this phone flashed. So, uh, yeah, Apple back in iOS 11.2.1, 1.2, sorry, guys, still had this issue where the Apple logo would flash. And then I think this phone will boot up faster. Nope, actually, the one with 1.2 with the flashing Apple logo boot up faster than the one without the Apple logo flashing issue. So, uh, yeah, but it was definitely faster on the iPhone 6 without flashing. So, yeah. That was weird here on the 6S Plus. All right, guys, so both devices have nothing running in the background. And let's first up go for a Geekbench test here. So yeah, of course, uh, both have the same specs, of course. Uh, about two gigs of RAM, um, both here, iOS 11.1.2, as you can see, guys, and iOS 11.2.1. Uh, Apple A9 chip clocked at 1.85 gigahertz. So let's see if there's a difference all right, guys, here we have this course. So uh, the phone running guys 11.1.2, it's course slightly higher, but this course is about the same, guys, actually. So 2,550 single course score, 2,548, so it's about the same. Multi-core score as well. So uh, and yeah, guys, I think uh, it's a draw there. All right, guys, so everything close in the background, both. And first up, calendar, identical. Next up, camera, identical as well. Next up, clock. Yeah, it's the same actually. Next up, health. Maybe iOS 11.2.1 faster. Next up, Safari. Loading Apple, they're about the same here. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, iPhone 6S Plus, still a decent device. Just loading this, I felt some lag. So let's go for Mac. Name is clicked here, didn't click it. So uh, let's go for Pro. Ah, actually, I think it's identical. Maybe this one was slightly faster. Next up, phone. So 1.2 was faster. Next up, guys, App Store. Going for apps, yeah. I think it was identical there, guys. So 11.1.2, uh, 11.2.1 are about the same there as long as you're just using stock apps. So let's just raise the hardness there. First up, keep bench. Sorry, guys. Identical. And the benchmark. Both are blazing fast, actually, if you ask me. So next up, Temperon 2. So both uh, A9 chip is really good now, even with iOS 11. So in my opinion, having an iPhone 6S Plus with iOS 11 won't be any issue. The phone is perfect. So we won't really feel any any like lag or something on these phones, at least now with iOS 11.2.1, where they actually improved everything with a OS. Next up, Rush. Mm. Yeah. They're identical and they're super fast as well. Just closing the ad at the same time. So this one is actually faster. Just playing there, no lag whatsoever. Yeah, amazing devices. Next up guys, this game here, Floor is Lava. Final game for this test. Yeah, both phones are really responsive and fast. So both phones really perform well. All right, guys, and now it's for some RAM management. Since these devices have two gigs of RAM, let's see how good they performed. I think both refreshed. Camera, both refreshed, I think. Actually, I'm sure their clock, both had to refresh. So until now, it's not that good. Going to health, both had to refresh. Yeah, oh guys, these devices have two gigs of RAM, so I'm kind of surprised. Safari, had to refresh. Phone, 
Had to refresh on both. Some weird stuff there actually with two gigs of RAM. App Store, had to refresh. Next up, Geekbench 4, had to refresh. Going for some games now. Or AI Temperon, or let, let's go for into the benchmark here. Okay, good job. So it's the results all over, all over the place, guys. So I like the iPhone, yeah, both did well. I like the iPhone 6. These phones can keep some apps in the background, but not everything. Yeah, that's good. So games, oops, guys. So I <laughs> did launch different games here, but let's go for, yeah. Did a good job. Let's go for Flora's Lava. Flora's Lava on this device. Yeah, both did a great job. So, uh, guys, uh, half apps, half the apps were kept in the background, half didn't. And uh, the thing is that it, the, these phones did really keep the games in the background. You know, guys, games consume up, consume entire RAM. So, good job, I think. I right, guess one, one final thing here. You can go for an the benchmark test. Of course, everything is close in the background. And let's go. All right, guys, so basically the iPhone 6 S Plus running guys, 11.2.1, the latest, got 40,000 40, higher, but I mean, this phone battery is like 5%, I mean, uh, we're level, so it's only we had a 5% degrade, but for some reason, it really performed poorly. Happens with me sometimes with the benchmark scores. Uh, so the difference here was mainly a CPU, 20,000 difference, UX, 16, 15,000 difference, so that was it, guys, for some reason. But when it came to performance, both devices were neck and neck. I mean, they were exactly the same. This phone did, phone did boot up faster. And speaking of battery life, this phone lost but 13%, where this lost 18%. So this one lost more battery. This one is kind of older, though. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Subscribe for more content. And peace out.